Guess what? We're not going on motorcycle today. We're going to the dump, and I'm taking you along with me. So we're gonna have a discussion. different uh, talking to you from uh, behind a steering wheel yeah I figured uh, it's been a couple weeks I've been posting all these motorcycle riding videos and for anybody that's been following me for a while you know that I am continuously dealing with mental health issues so I thought I'd uh, bring you along with me as I make a dump run and, uh, and talk about probably my, where I'm at right now mentally and, uh, and I guess the impact the uh, motorcycle riding is having on it, on my mental health. So uh, that's what this ride is going to be about, or this drive, sorry. I'm a cager today. Well, we may not get to the dump because there's a car up in front driving 40 and 90. Or it's an 80, 80 zone, all 70 now, but, oh, never mind, it's a van. Get around you, Dodge. So as some of you probably already know, I've uh, went through several weeks of ketamine treatment for my major depressive disorder, because I have I have post-traumatic stress disorder, I have major depressive disorder, general anxiety, anxiety disorder, I got a bit of ADHD, a bit of OCD, so uh, there's a few things going on in my brain that's, uh, that's malfunctioning, I guess. So uh, they stopped the ketamine treatment because it wasn't successful, it wasn't working on me. So of course that means more med changes and with more med changes comes the side effects of these med changes and I've been dealing with a lot of that over the last couple of months and it's uh, it has been taking a toll on me big time especially well not especially like for example it's causing insomnia usually I take my meds and within 20 minutes they knock me out and I'm usually good until probably uh, 8 or 9 or whatever in the morning and it's usually a fairly solid sleep no dreams or nothing, anything like that because indica oil takes away that but for some reason lately it's uh, it's taken me longer to fall asleep 
and as soon as I wake up it's it's like every light bulb in my brain is alert and alive and awake and it could be the simplest little thing that wakes me and so I'm losing an average probably three or four hours sleep a night lately and that is guaranteed to be taking a toll on my mood and it probably explains a lot of my anger issues for over the last month or so the craziest thing about the anger issues is that it's uh, it's caused by like trivial things things that probably shouldn't be causing me anger issues but they do like I'm very sensitive to lights and sounds, noises, motion, commotion, things like that. That's why I'm very limited on where I can actually go. And I find even at home, like the, just the general noises that happen around the house, like the dog's nails on the floor, maybe the wife's doing dishes, the son's playing his video game, the mini split is blowing. All of that adds up and contributes to a very stressful and frantic uh, experience for me. Not very busy today. Looks like it shouldn't take long. You see, that's all the hypervigilance portion. It's like I hear every noise, every sound, every dog that barks at night, every light that comes on or off, people walking around, sitting around on their phones outside or, or whatever it might be. It all just, just, it's like a, my head's in a vice or something. It's like I just need to explode. So that's why I ride a lot lately. You've probably you've seen all my videos, a lot of riding, and I'm riding, it's probably a 75-25 ratio. 25% I like riding a bike. 75% I'm riding to escape, to get away from everything that, that, that troubles me and bothers me. And that is not a good thing. It's not a good feeling. It's uh, it's not a good feeling to not want to be in your own home, to not want to be in your own yard, to not want to be on your own property. And uh, so that's where I'm at. Too many people around to film me uh, offloading, so I'll see you in a minute.
That's done. Eh, go back home. Most people, when they do a task like that, they clean up their yard, they get rid of a bunch of junk. They usually feel satisfied, like a sense of satisfaction that they're finished, that they that they done it, that they accomplished something. But that's something that I that I don't uh, that I don't experience at all is, is satisfaction from completion of tasks. And uh, that's why I honestly, like I detest doing tasks because to me they're pointless, they're meaningless, there's nothing, I get nothing from them. It's just a nuisance, a hindrance. That's the way I, I look at them. And even now, like dropping that off, it's more so a sense of somebody just stopped punching me in the face it's like okay they stopped punching me good it's over it's done with but there's no satisfaction or joy or excitement because he stopped punching me in the face because obviously i'm going to be there with busted lips a busted nose maybe a black eye who knows and uh so it's hard to um sorry i lost my train of thought that time not sure where i was going with it Anyway, between it all, between the lack of sleep, the med changes, just being tired and exhausted all the time, and being cranky and grumpy and miserable, lack of appetite, it's just, I'm not good. I'm not in a good place. And uh, no matter how much you see me smiling on a motorcycle ride, it's, uh, it's an illusion. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I mean, yeah, like you probably don't like hearing me talk about these things, but like suicide. Suicidal thoughts is something that's with me constantly, every single day. And it baffles me because I got a great wife, a great family, great son, great kids and all that. And uh, yet I still, uh, I still feel that way. It's crazy how... Uh, the things that can actually trigger those thoughts. Like I said, I mean, it could be just a dog barking or some lights or whatever at night and it bothers me and it's enough. To, it probably doesn't cause it itself, but between everything else, it just builds up and builds up and builds up. And then you just like, you know, screw this. I can't handle this. I don't want to deal with any of this. I, death would be so much better. That's where my head goes. I'm still here, obviously, because I've been having those thoughts for 10 years or more. So I'm probably not going to go anywhere yet. <laughs> I know, it's funny, isn't it? Remember a few seconds ago I said how forgetful I can be? How my memory issues are, uh, are have been messed up a lot over the last few years? Well, here I am, just about home, realizing I got my trailer on the back and uh, it goes to my brother's house. It doesn't go to my house. Like I just totally forgot and just, I was heading home with my trailer. So guess what? I'm on my way to Dogberry Hill. On the bright side, I get an extended stay here, a little break, even longer.
isn't home because he's most likely working. I punch in my brother's address, Dogberry Hill. <laughs> I can't help but think of um, Happy Days, but it was Blueberry Hill they used to sing. Wasn't it Richie Cunningham? He goes, I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. Something like that. I could be remembering that rhyme, but I do remember that song. And every time I think about Dogberry Hill, it makes me think about I found my thrill. That pond to your left is Rotary Sunshine Park. That place is usually packed in the warmer months warmer days I should say. We don't get warmer months here. This is the entrance way. It also leads you to Boise's Brook. Had a fire one day out by that pond. There's a trail back a ways and I uh, put my backpack on, went and set up my hammock and everything just to check it out or to try it out, it was the first time I set up my hammock. And I sat down by that lake and had a nice little fire and got some drone clips. It was quite relaxing. I might go to that spot again soon, I think. It's a nice, peaceful and tucked away. That's what I should be doing right now, riding. Or do they have somewhere open for Team Gushu? I hope so. <laughs> I see one car go in. I don't know if you're allowed in there or not. There we go. Right here. I assume that was for me. It may not have been. <laughs> Most likely it is. You can't block off the whole off ramp there.
thanks for joining me as I ditched my garbage. I thought I was going to have to do it alone, but at least I had company. Virtual company, invisible company, imaginary company. Anyway, the whole point behind this was to give an update on my mental health situation and I am getting out more and doing more. Like I just did this task, so I completed a task which is probably big and I'm writing more and making videos and uh, that's all I got right now. But uh, compared to where I was probably two months ago, I'm a little better. Like I a little better like I still am just manic crazy angry frustrated depressed anxious just everything it's like I'm I'll cry a few times a week I'm terrified a few times a week and I'm uh, suicidal a few times a week but in the middle of all that I still get out and I ride and uh, that's why I'm terrified. It's only uh, May and I'm already uh, terrified of, of the winter months coming. Isn't that weird? That's how, that's how messed up my anxiety is. We're in May and I'm already stressed about crap that's going to happen six months from now. And I'm like that for everything. Throughout the whole summer, I'll be the same way. If there's a doctor's appointment or a commitment or anything, that's it. The days or the weeks leading up to that, I'm paralyzed. I'm immobilized. It's like I just can't function because I got that one task coming up and that's all my brain can handle is one thing at a time. So, this is it. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing now. I'm just kind of ranting and venting and getting things off my chest. And uh, it's probably going to mess up my YouTube algorithms. I don't really care about that stuff anyway. Because here we are. Scenery, 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 scenery. Whining and complaining. Ah, that's like a, a brick wall, probably. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. So thanks for joining me and thanks for listening and uh, I look forward to uh, reading your comments and uh, seeing your messages on the, the following videos. You don't need to comment on this one if you don't want. Anyway, take care and enjoy the rest of your week.